Looky there. They didn't get that one. And it's fully preserved. Don't worry. Diamond Miner's here to save you. So what I'm gonna do is gather some fossils like this, like that, or something, and test it to see if it's gonna fluorescent with my UV light. That's probably the coolest fossil. Look at his eyes. Whoa. The cricket's eyes are fluorescent. Look at them. Insane. Look at that. Insane. Look at that. Welcome back to another adventure from Ammonite Creek. It's great to see you all back at the channel. And if you're new to my channel, I hope you like what you see in this video and you decide to subscribe. Here lately, I have discovered some fossilized three-dimensional fish fossils, which is very rare to find. We're gonna be walking around Ammonite Creek. The last week or so, we've had some rain. So everything behind me and all that has been tumbled. You can see how it looks totally different from my last video. Lots of water. And all this has been pushed around, tumbled. So that should allow me to find new fossils. And hopefully we'll get several complete ammonites. Maybe find a better fish fossil than I have in the past. The hammer drill that I use, the gloves, and other equipment that I use to dig up ammonites. I'll have links in the description below. Check out all the water. Normally, I'm able to walk along all that where the grass is, and right now it's underwater. So all of this has been tumbled pretty good. I'm excited to get out here and see what kind of fossils we'll find today. And right off the bat, we have a fossil I'll let you try to spot it first. You see it? Yep. The smallest ammonite I have found so far out here. Look at that. Ooh, and it looks to be complete. Oh, wow, look at that. It is, oh, sweet, a little ammonite. That looks to be complete on both sides. It is, oh, how cute. That is the cutest little ammonite. Wow, look at the detail on that. <laughs> this is going to be an awesome trip already. I can already tell just because of that. Wow, they do get small out here. Wow, that was cool. Oh, what's this? Ooh, here's one of those round fossils. I don't think that's going to be a vertebrae. People have commented that these are vertebrae. I don't see it. It's not petrified wood. That isn't petrified wood either. Right off the bat, I found a small ammonite. I can't believe it. I haven't even had a safety meeting yet. We better get the safety meeting in and get over to the main spot. You can really see how there's just so much, so much water compared to my other trips. I can get through it, but it's going to be a fun journey. All oh, this is new. Wow, look at all that. All that's new. Found the next fossil. Do you see it? Oh yeah, it's an easy one. Nice, looks like a complete ammonite. Let's see what we got. Oh, all right, cool. Got detail on both sides. I'm gonna call that one a complete ammonite. And it's a small hand size, nothing huge like we usually get out here. It's not a 20, 30 pounder. That is so cool. All right, that's two complete ammonites. That one's a little bigger than the last one. I'm gonna keep on continuing. Some type of bone, looks like, right there. Ugh. Cow bone. It's like a rib off a cow. 
small piece of a fossil imprint. Looks like we have a piece of an ammonite. Oh, cool. Have to save those. Looks like we have visitors, a couple different footprints, two different footprints. So I was checking out the footprints and I noticed that right there, I've already moved it, it looked like a vertebrae, so I picked it up and I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if it's a fossil or a rock. It's been tumbled and smoothened out. How's that vertebrae look? Kinda. Let me know in the comments if you know what this is. There's a pretty good size alligator gar. There it is. I kept hearing this sound in the water and I looked over. I thought it was a fish. Nope, there it was. I think it was over here. Oh, God. there's gonna be several. There's one. God, there's several things. That last one kind of looked like a catfish. Now's the time I wish I had a biscuit. I was walking into the shade. Get out of that Texas sun for a minute. And I found an ammonite. Can you see the ammonite? yep right there nice little one that is not much on the other side that's got some really cool detail sweet another small one found several ammonites along the gravel bar now it's time to head over to the good spot where we get the really big ones out of the matrix and see what we can find that has been washed out from this hard rain first i gotta cross through the uh, swamp come up to the swamp normally i can walk across this right here without having to go through a swamp but oh my gosh not today looks like we got a raccoon been down here whoo let's go through that snaky infested area oh boy not sure how deep that is I've got RD1 the rotary drill let me get my backpack on all the way geez it's growing up quite a bit couple snakes oh wow I am sinking quicksand we definitely have quicksand here in Texas something you want to keep in mind you can fall into a quicksand pit oh gosh all right we made it wow man that looks totally different through here so we've got some deer Every time we come through here, there's something else. This time we have a deer instead of a dog. Let's walk around, check things out first. Oh no, where did it go? Man, it's gotta be down here somewhere. Here's a big piece of an ammonite. Golly, look at that. Woo! It washes out of this right here. 
There could be ammonites under that. So all you gotta do is come out here and lift the stuff up and you can find fully preserved ammonites and fish fossils. But I don't see that ammonite that came out of this one. That's a good one. That's got some amazing detail. Man. And this is my first time to ever come out here being the first to look. The owner has relatives and they have friends and everybody comes out here people walk this creek the locals know about this spot oh man look at that one bummer that looks like that's the end of it or something round it off wow look how much it's changed out here this is now all covered up with all of this lighter material And I had a dream after finding that first fish fossil, the 3D fish fossil, I dreamed that there were several in that matrix, six or so, complete, laying there just waiting for me to just pick them up. And I woke up and that's when I realized I was dreaming. But wouldn't that be cool just to see a bunch of those complete fossil fish just sitting in there. If I come out here enough, I might find one. Just got to keep on digging. And once again, thank you all for the support. Patreons, YouTubers. My last video did very well. So I was able to get a new backpack. No, I'm not sponsored by Honeywell or Salisbury. They're just really nice. They got big pockets for big tools. That's how we roll. And if you'd like to uh, purchase my UV light, there's a link in all my Crater Diamond videos and you can uh, purchase your own UV light using that link in the description. And I am an eBay partner, so that helps me out a lot every time somebody purchases items that I use to go diamond mining. I'll have them posted for the hammer drill, batteries that I use, bags, you name it. I'll try to find a link with that you can get your own backpack like mine it helps me uh you know get my burritos and stuff all right just finished my burrito time to head up to the good spot see what we can get i'm super excited let's go there's a good one out there somewhere that's a fresh imprint. Oh, it may be chewed up on one side and broken, but if not, that's gonna be a good one. And it would be piled up in that somewhere. Holy smokes. Right by the big ammonite I've been chipping on and chipping on and chipping on. I can't seem to get that little booger out of there. You see all my marks where I've been just hammering on it, hammering on it. Drilling holes with my hammer drill. Yeah, that thing's a big one. Maybe there's one just sitting out here waiting for me to just pick up. Oh, look at that one. It's broken. Broken. Double sided. Definitely a good one. Got some good detail, that's for sure. Okay, so we have a hole here. What's the, what's going on here? Something's going on here. This is a different, this is different. It's washing out all around this, but right here. This could be some type of huge fossil. Definitely have an ammonite imprint, but there's other Something's going on here. Something's going on. Hello. And what in the world is going on right here? See, here's another spot that's just not quite washing out, only around it. And now we have fossils showing. That's definitely some type of ammonite. This is something here. This is something different. I mean, it looks like we got an ammonite. But then you have all this. Oh. And another one. 
just the imprints. The ammonites are washing out. They're all piled up in all that pile of stuff. No, no, no. This is not what we want. See another huge imprint with no ammonite. Has somebody come out here and have taken them? Crap. I think we've uh I think we're a little late out here guys <laughs> i think somebody has been out here and has been taking the ammonites there's one they can't take that one not until another hard rain another one they've been broken oh looky here looky there they didn't get that one they didn't get that one and it's fully preserved oh baby yes don't worry Diamond Miner's here to save you. Ouch. Mm, we need RD1. We need RD1. Yeah, we gotta be careful with that one. That's fully preserved. We got two sides for sure. Is it going to be a complete ammonite? Stay tuned and find out. So I'll be using the hammer drill and I have the really big battery. Well, I've walked and walked surface hunting. We found several smaller ammonites, but those are the babies. And right here is a bigger one. So we're gonna use the RD1 and hammer drill this huge ammonite out of this mud slash matrix. There's other fossils that can be mixed in with this. All right, let's get to it. And yes, I need safety glasses, but I closed my eyes. Uh, sorry for the wind noise. We've had thunderstorms lately. We'll check out a couple clips of the thunderstorms at the end of the video, if you're into that. They've been pretty crazy this year. We're at the very beginning of Tornado Alley, so everything forms right here at the Red River. Ow. Hmm. Why is my finger open? But yeah, when I, yeah, it's very uh, destructive down here. Gloves. Wow. Yep, just off of that. Right there, something like that. Probably wasn't this exact piece. Wear your gloves. I'll have a link for some gloves you can click on and wear. <laughs> I may need to click on it. It's still going. Fully preserved ammonite. 3D. Oh man. I think it's gonna be a complete ammonite. You can see right there where I've been chiseling away. Oh yeah, it's still going. Look at that, it's still wet from 60 million years ago. Look at the detail on that. Looks like over here it's more of that concrete type. Probably get some of that out. That's what we don't want is that hard stuff. If it was all this softer shell, that would have came out probably a lot better. Sometimes, but then again, sometimes this harder stuff pops right off and leaves all the detail, but then sometimes it pulls these corners up and now you have damaged your ammonite. Yep, just broke the ammonite. Oh, crap. Looks like it wasn't even complete. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't even a, it was broken right here. Good size of an ammonite. Not a bad one. Nice bookshelf, cut that in half. Get two of those. 
I don't think your books are gonna move at all because that's about 40 pounds. Definitely get a saw and I'll cut that flat. To be able to stand up like it is too. All right, well, bummer. Found a small one not far from where we were just at. 15 feet. I don't know, we can chip at it and see what it's gonna do. I mean, it may be a piece of a one, it could be a complete. You never know if you get it out of that mud. getting the camera set up and no it didn't break the imprint fell off and exposed a perfect ammonite it is a little banged up right there where my uh, hammer drill hit what oh man hammer drill got it jeez found one looks like I messed it up dang it live and learn that's all you can do you know I can probably knock that off. I've been getting pretty good at taking my hammer and chipping off that mud. But boy, this one looks pretty thin. Looks like it goes real thin right there. Ooh, I could easily break that one. So I'd probably just leave it like that. I wouldn't bother chipping that off. Not a bad day at Ammonite Creek. Walking back to the truck, getting everything carried back. There's a piece of one. Oh, here's something. I missed that. There's an ammonite stuck in a huge chunk of mud. Y'all are not going to believe what I just found. This is really cool. Here it is. So, I was checking out an ammonite over here. Which, I think my bag... Oh, no, here it is. Right here. <laughs> Glad that wasn't a snake. So, checking that out. That could be fluorescent. That's another thing out here. A lot of these fossils are fluorescent. They will glow with my UV light. So I saw that one right there in the water and look what's attached to it. A fossilized sand dollar, just like I was expecting sooner or later. That's probably the coolest fossil. If we could find a complete ammonite with sand dollars attached to it, that's just crazy. That just goes to show these creatures were pretty smushy, I guess. Or it all got compressed together from the mud. You know, all this mud got caked on these creatures and it must have just pressed into it over time. 
Wow, that is so cool. A fossilized sand dollar on a ammonite. <laughs> Too bad we don't have the whole ammonite. That'd be worth some money. Start getting complete ammonites with sand dollars. Wow, that's so cool. All right, keep an eye out for sand dollars. Whew, definitely get that one in the bag. My bag's not full. I was complaining it was kind of heavy, but I got room. I got room for that. That is my new goal. Find a complete ammonite with fossilized sand dollars. That sand dollar might fluorescent. I don't know. We'll check it with the UV light. Always check your minerals and fossils with your ultraviolet light. There'll be a link in the uh, description. You can click on that and get you a UV light. It's like 40, 50 bucks for a really good quality. Comes with two batteries, charger. Yeah, it's not like your smartphone. You buy a $1,400 smartphone and it doesn't even come with a charger. I mean, what the heck? So what I'm going to do is gather some fossils like this, like that, or something, and test it and see if it's going to fluorescent with my UV light. Oh, that'll be a good one. All types of small fossils and the smaller gravel. Look at that. Ooh, sand dollar. Another sand dollar. Woohoo! Check that out. Another fossilized sand dollar. Yes. Sweet. Now I have an idea what those look like. They could look like that. <laughs> Flip it over. Man. Sweet. So yeah, that could fluorescent as well. Here's something, you know, keep that. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep that. Wait, no I'm not. I'm gonna keep this. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh-oh, he saw me and took off. <laughs> no kidding. He's, we made eye contact and that little guy said, I'm out of here. Man, let's find a big sand dollar. Like, humongous. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's see, what else can I keep? Let's just see if it'll glow with my UV light. That's cool. Nice little fossil in there. All right, here's the next fossil. It's gonna be a tough one for y'all. Do you see it? Maybe not. Some type of fossil right there, like a coral or a plant. Don't look like a deer antler. Definitely some type of stone feel to it. All right, let's take a quick look at everything that I found today. It's not much, but at least I found a few things. Not a bad day at all. 
several smaller ammonites. Found a couple larger ammonites. This one here has the prehistoric sand dollar. Man, and that ammonite right there would have been at least 50 pounds or more. That's just a piece of it. It would have been humongous. Look how big it is compared to this one or even this one. Plus that's embedded like this thing may have been long gone and these were growing on it or maybe it was alive and it had the uh, sand dollars attached to it. Man, just awesome pieces of the ammonites several smaller ammonites with really good detail check those out incredible detail i can definitely remove a lot of that mud and clean these up really good that one there also a nice one this one here Definitely uh, probably come out of that gravel layer. It's not as old as these other ammonites like these. Here's all the smaller stuff that I found. Of course, this one right here. That is really cool. All types of fossils. This right here is almost like a stick or petrified wood. That's a really neat looking fossil right there. I don't think it's an ammonite, but it could be, definitely could be a part of an ammonite. Maybe it's a huge centipede, fossilized centipede. Looks like it's got some eyes right there. Eyeball, there's the mouth. That's pretty wild. This. Some type of shell. All these smaller ones have all types of fossils in them, like this right here. Got some small fossils embedded. And I picked up several of these type of fossils. I call them devil's toenails. I know there's a scientific term, but that's what I call them devil's toenails incredible day man look at all this cool stuff that's not a fossil piece of glass something tells me that right there is going to glow now let's take a look at them under the uv light I'm going to use my ultraviolet light, the UV light, and we're going to test these fossils and see if they fluorescent. You got to turn the lights off. Here we go. So I have most of the lighting off. I have a small light on and let's go ahead and test this one right here. It does fluorescent. Let's wait for the other light to turn off and we'll get a better look at them. That one right there is really cool. If you'd like to get one of these UV lights, there'll be a link in the description below. Just click on that. It'll send you straight to eBay. Don't forget to get that battery charger and your extra battery. You're going to want it. Nice having that extra battery and the battery charger. Not a bad deal. It's a really good light. It's good for the Uper lights. Anything that fluorescents. Fossils. You know, these fossils are fluorescent. 
it's awesome so yeah just click on the link below in the uh, description tab get you a light delivered to your front door Well, the light took longer than I expected, but okay, it's finally pitch black. Let's take the UV light. There's all the fossils. I am moving the light closer, and you can see they're starting to turn orange. Check that out. That is so cool. Man, look at that one. And look at that prehistoric sand dollar. But wow, that one right there is really glowing. Oh man, that one's really cool. Lots of stuff in that one right there. Look at that bright orange. That's really cool. How some of these fossils are fluorescent. There's the devil toenail. They're really orange. This will really be neat to do at night. I may have to go to Ammonite Creek at night with my UV light. If we can get this video to 5,000 likes, that'll be the most likes I've ever had on a video. If we can get this video to 5,000 likes, I will go out to Ammonite Creek at nighttime with my UV light and hunt for fossils. We'll be able to see them glowing on the ground and just Look at that ammonite. What? That thing's all colorful. Man, this is so cool. But yeah, check that one out. And here is the ammonite with the prehistoric sand dollar. That thing is really glowing. And there's something over here. It may have been another, who knows, it probably was a fish. And this larger ammonite doesn't seem to have any type of, that's a bunch of fuzz. That's probably what's all over this one. You got some fuzz. No, that I'm looking at it. This definitely has some fluorescent, like that right there, this corner, that's fluorescent. That's part of the ammonite. And we have a cricket. Doesn't seem to be fluorescent. Oh, its eyeballs are. Look at his eyes. Whoa. The cricket's eyes are fluorescent. Look at them. So let's get this video up to 5,000 likes and I'll make a trip to Ammonite Creek at night and we will look for fossils that glow check that out insane look at that wow North Texas baby too bad it's not a really clear image but that's pretty awesome you gotta you gotta say it that's pretty awesome. That's gonna wrap it up here at Ammonite Creek. Looks like the rain washed most of the ammonites back into the water. I was able to find one in the matrix and I used my hammer drill and I got a little too aggressive and hammered into it. Plus it chipped that one in. Still make a really neat ammonite if I was to cut it nice and flat. Found my smallest ammonite several small ammonites so that was really cool now i know that i can just come out here and dig in that gravel and find smaller ammonites i see the imprints in the mud out here where i find these big ones but i never find any baby complete ammonites so it's been really fun just finding the baby ammonites if you like to have a baby ammonite let's get this video up to 1000 likes all you have to do is leave a comment below all right that's it from ammonite creek thank you all so much for the support and I'll see you all on the next adventure. Take care, everybody.